We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. Go otters. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. I hope the otters will survive. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls, ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. The wit, it burns. Was Chloe here? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. And these are cool shots. Where does that other sock go? Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. <laughs> Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Well, we care, dickhead. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Sorry, Rachel. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now.
Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light! I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger, or Self-Righteous Hypocrite. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. Sometimes. I guess I should consider this evolution. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? No way am I touching Zach's jersey. This must be for training kids. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. So, the big plan is... win. Look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun, 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, 
I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. your power on getting busted. my power or just look for a hiding spot or both where are they hello hey Try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? We are so invisible. Let's bail. Turn around! 
They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing. But I think we have to walk I keep waving at the taxis They keep turning their lights off I'm so wiped out from last night But it was awesome I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become Last night was only the tip of the iceberg I have to admit it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Polish in the evening by the morning looks like shit. Okay, I need to get dressed now.
I don't think I'll be blushing today. Stronger than me, I've thrown their backs out, trying to live. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back somehow. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? At least we haven't been identified yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. Chloe seems more relaxed now that she has that money from the handicapped fund. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover so boys. So simple in the moonlight. So simple in the moonlight. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. Hella stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. 
See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. <sighs> it's like when we were kids here. Check out Mad Max, <laughs> ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine and hiding. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. This might be the one time these people are right.
Looks like a message. David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Dead bird. Poor thing. I wonder how these birds died. Sitting in a swing always feels so comforting. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard, we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I should evolve and become a vegan, but, oh, bacon. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. She always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. 
Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. And thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. Famous for this? Seeing you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. I think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Ugh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. 
cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? I could try the license number for the password. Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Naturally, David would- I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Nothing in it. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. I still need to find the password to David's computer. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. Worst hacker ever. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. Stop. Nope. Oh, shit, Paul. Worst happy top. Such runaway no top. Hmm. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. I still need to find the password to David's computer. That's cute. Could be a password here. I still need to find the password to David's computer.
Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Even David Matt. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as it might be a useful password. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them.
figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? <laughs> 